What's up, YouTube? Let's do a final walkthrough and then a uh, questions. Uh, I'll, I'll ask the group to have any questions for the end of the day, right? So we've got a four foot wide blockade here with some cross graining. We did not have the black ripped right through. We just have six inch lag. You don't see a black one in there traditionally. Uh, we had a gold one there today. They can pick that up in a black one later, but that's six inches long. They get through the picket, through the rail, into the double four by four. We got our handle on the bottom side of the latch, so it's a one hand activated latch. We got a cross grain here, cross grain on the end, cross grain top. We even added a cross grain at the bottom. They said they had a lot of pickets, a lot of problems with the bottom warping in and out. Um, we put a two by two in here, so there's no voids. You don't see the end of the rails. Over on this side, we have another two by two all the way down, so we don't have anything splitting on the picket where the screw goes in. Look at the top of the fence. This was done with a straightaway. So here's what we got the pickets with, the straightaway 2.0. Come up here, Dylan, and show them the roll on that. So using a straightaway, we have a nice roll on top of that fence. So yes, you can make a curve in the fence using the straightaway. So let's go back here real quick and talk to these guys and see what they picked up for them. Come on, Manny. So, I like to do a little round robin in the day. So, it's just like give me a tip, a trick, an idea, a tool, something that was unique that stood out today that was interesting to you. Uh, one or two things, you don't have to get into a whole lot of detail. So, Oscar, anything stuck out today? Um, the way you built the gate. Yeah. And how you uh, drilled two uh, gate posts together. So we, so, we fastened two gate posts together. So, we were trying to prevent cross strings. We have four lags in there. Uh, ideally, they're six inch lags, two from either side, married up together. Um, and then we did cross screen on the gate, which is a little bit unique and different. A lot of two by fours, right? Yes. But it's a solid gate, right? Good, good sure. gate. Man, do you think you picked up one today? Um, I think the best thing is the equalizer. The equalizer, yeah. right? <laughs> so we were able to stretch that out real quick. We have perfectly equal sections, no math, no thinking, no, no mistakes. By yourself, no paint, no string line, no tape measure, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's a great, great tool. We used the mini equalizer today which is really just a broken equalizer. <laughs> Let's be honest. Jared, do you think you saw interesting today? The gate. And you're new to fence. I'm brand new. Brand new to fence. So anything interesting? The gate, the gate and the equalizer. And the equalizer was unique to you. I love that. Okay. Yeah, I'm the same. Jeff? Same thing. Equalizer. You're new to fencing though? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay. So equalizer stuck out. Um, what about the dig jig? What do you guys think about that? That's pretty cool. That saved you some work on, on yeah. moving that dirt, yeah. right? There's the pile of dirt back there behind them. So all that dirt was just automatic, came in the dig jig. We just rolled it over there. We didn't have to shovel it all up, right? Uh, Alex, who is a uh, instructor from Mr. Vincent Academy, came out to help today. So he, today actually was my first time using the dig jig. Okay. And so uh, I thought that was really amazing. I mean, I did it. It saved a ton of dirt work. I mean, because dirt work takes a long time sometimes. Right. If you have so, somewhere to put the dirt, right? Um, you said yes, in some correct. cases you don't have that. Um, I was also pretty impressed with these guys being that they've never been in the fence industry and they're actually killing me in the fence industry right now. So I have to give props to, to Accent Fence here. Yes. We're, we're killing it, you know. Thinking outside the box and wanting to grow, wanting to learn, we're inviting us here to do this. That's great. Yeah. Lonnie, you ran your first pickets today. Yep. <laughs> awesome. You ran pickets on that fence. It looked fabulous. What did you think about it? Did you feel like a superhero? I love so you, we've watched this all day. You haven't built much fence, right? Yeah. Anything that was interesting about the technique that we did today that was, that, uh, was unique to you that you haven't seen? I like anything? the X-Man. Yeah. Yeah. The X-Man, yeah, there we go. I, I like that too. You I like that? Like all all the ah, <laughs> you guys all forgot about the X-Man. Lonnie brings it up. So the X-Man allows one person to run the rails safely, efficiently, uh, and quickly in about one minute per section on average for a guy to run rails. What I learned today, this is what I picked up, besides for the fact Accent Fence is badass and they have a good team working together, is Milwaukee Framing Nailer. Yes. Completely outdid the DeWalt Framing Nailer today, like blew it out of the water, right? And I was skeptical at first because I really, I well, was pretty impressed with my DeWalt Nailer on top of the day. So your Milwaukee Nailer, not only did it put three inch nails in like nothing, they turned around through in two inch nails and ran pickets over here. But, you know, no adaptation at all. Just threw them in there and went to town. So, very impressed with the Milwaukee. It's an 18 volt. Is that what it is? It says M18 on it. I'll be looking into getting one of those uh, here sooner or later. DeWalt, you got some work to do because 
I think I have a half dozen of those framing nailers, and they are just like waiting on a woman. Like, you push the trigger and. <laughs> <laughs> Milwaukee, <laughs> boom! Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So I was very impressed with the Milwaukee uh, there uh, for nailing the nails. I'm probably getting one of those. DDK, it's your birthday today. Anything you pick up today behind the cameraman? Um, great company. Great company. Great company. This is what you want to do. Very receptive, birthday? receptive yeah. for sure. Learning, right? Yep. Together we get better. So that's a wrap. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed some of the tips and tricks from today. Hit the subscribe button or like button and all that stuff and follow us. <laughs>